Four, let's go. Get, that's it, that's it, good boy. A facility dog is a type of service animal that works in facilities throughout the country. So there are facility dogs that work in courthouses, in schools, in healthcare settings. For us, the facility dog is going to be used for goal-oriented um, interventions with our patients here at Cardinal Glennon. The big thing for our patients is just getting up and walking when they don't feel good, especially when they're in pain. And at that point, he will be able to come in and kind of motivate them and help them, help them whether it's you know around the floor for a whole lap or just the first like five, 10 steps. We thought about too, like bereavement, so helping families, helping siblings, um, you know, in, in that situation, you know, yeah. helping patients like take their meds, like we can use them as, as motivation pretty much for anything. Abby and I went to a week-long team training at Duo, where we got to meet him, learn about him, learn everything that there is about taking care of a dog. Um, I'll never look at a dog the same. Down, that's it. All the way, good boy. They not only have to come in and build a relationship with the dog, which takes time, they absolutely have to learn everything there is to know about a dog, how to run a dog, how to do the skills, and when you pair that up to doing the skills with them when the dog doesn't really even know them yet, it gets pretty stressful. Yeah, he knows the yeah, tips better than yeah. I do. <laughs> One of the biggest things that I've taken away is that as a child life specialist, like we normally comfort kids. We try to be reassuring of them. And then with this dog, I have to be firm and I have to be confident and I have to be very quick in the commands that I'm giving him. And that's like stretched me so far outside my comfort zone. All right, let's go. Everybody wants a companion and a companion is great. The companion just comes naturally. But how is this dog helping to enrich this facilities, all the kids? How is this one dog impacting that? Those are the outcomes that, that we see. Yeah, and it's huge. It's huge. There's that. Let's go. That's it. When he was in the PICU, he wasn't eating, he wasn't drinking. He was just kept sinking deeper and deeper into a, a pit. When Thor came to see him, it was like this cloud lifted it and we actually saw a smile, a genuine smile, and uh, Thor was the one that actually made a difference uh, uh, in his life. I mean, it was, we actually saw the real Jimmy come back. So, and Thor is, he's a hero with us. It was the best therapy that he could have ever received. I think just being a dog, it just, I think kids are just motivated by animals in general. Continuing funding for the program is really important. We have vet bills, we have his medicine throughout the year, his food. He has to be groomed regularly in order to be in accordance with our infection prevention guidelines. Thor, can you visit? That's it. There it is, good boy. I think that Thor is going to have a really big impact and we only know the tip of the iceberg right now.